Hi there, it's great to see you. In today's class, we're going to move the whole body, we're going to strengthen, we're going to stretch, and we're just going to flow. So let's begin. So first, let's just turn our hands and just warm up our wrists gently, just circling your hands, both directions. And then just pointing the fingers down, fingers up, down, and fingers up. Great. Okay, make your way onto your hands and knees. Stretch the fingers out nice and long. Knees under your hips. Now take care that you're not locking into your elbow joints. Inhale, look out forwards, gently arch your back. As you exhale, round on your spine, draw the tail under, look back to your legs, towards your belly. Inhaling, arching the back, look out forwards. Pull the shoulders away from your ears, towards your hips. Exhale, round on your spine. Inhale, arching your back again. This time as you exhale, tuck your right knee in tight towards your chest. Inhale, point your toes high up into the sky, keep your leg bent. Exhale, round in the spine. So imagine your leg is like a tail that you're wagging up into the air, lift it high and as if you're tucking it back underneath you. Two more times, lifting up, warming up the spine and rounder. And lift your knee up and rounder. On your next one, extend your right leg all the way along behind you. Now this time being very precise to lift the abdominals to keep the ribs in, keeping the hips nice and level. Extend the opposite arm forwards, Turn your thumb up to the sky. Hold it here. Keep breathing nice and calmly as you pulse the arm and leg. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place your left hand down onto the mat. Tuck your left toes under and then push yourself up and back into a one-legged downward facing dog. Lift your right leg as high as you can. Your right hip might open slightly, that's absolutely fine. From here, 10 pulses with your right leg. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Check that your shoulders are still nice and square. And then lower your right leg down and just stretching those heels back and down. Inhaling here. Exhale, lower your knees all the way down for the second side. Relax your toes. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round in your spine. Inhale, lengthening. Chest forwards and up. Shoulders pulling back. Exhale, curling, scoop the belly in and up. We're going to add the left leg, inhale, arching the back. Exhale, left knee tucks into the chest, head and knee close together. Inhale, point your left toes up high and exhale, draw it in. Inhale, lifting like a tail that's wagging up into the air, exhale in. One more, inhale, lift. Keep your arms nice and strong. Exhale in. Now extending your left leg out nice and long. Again, let's take a moment to check. Supporting the lower back, no collapsing. Squeeze your left side glutes. Right arm reaches forwards. Pulse your arm and leg. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Right hand comes down to the floor. Tuck your right toes under. Push yourself up and back into your one-legged downward facing dog. Lift your left leg as high as you can. Your hip may open slightly, but try and keep your shoulders, your chest nice and square. Pulse your left leg up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower your left leg down, downward facing dog. If you need to rest, you can come into child's pose. Let's inhale here. Exhale. 
rocking yourself forwards into your plank pose. Now do adjust the position, so perhaps your hands come just a tiny bit forwards, so your hands are under your shoulders, and you're in a nice long straight line, holding your plank, inhale, exhale. Lower yourself down onto your forearms, you can clasp your fingers, finding your forearm plank. Inhale, rock forwards, exhale, push back through the heels, inhale forwards, make sure your hips don't Sink down. As you go back, your hips don't stick up. Inhale forwards. Exhale back. One more forwards. Exhale back. Pause here. Tap your knees down and straighten. So maintaining the position, gently tapping and straightening the legs. Two more. Down and straighten. Lower your knees down. Push yourself all the way back up onto your hands. One last time into a straight legged plank. You can hold the position and breathe, or you can add your leg pull. Lift your right leg, tap and lift. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Lower your foot down, same on the other side. Lift and tap. Lift. Keep your plank, don't stick your bottom out. Abdominal strong, arms working. Last one, step your foot down, downward facing dog. Now we're going to walk our hands much closer to the feet and step your feet as wide as your mat. Push the hips up and back. Relax your head between your arms. Inhale, exhale, take your right hand across to your left leg. Somewhere on the outside of your leg. Hold on to that leg. And if possible, draw yourself in towards that leg. Breathe. And then we repeat the same on the other side. Right hand down, left hand to the outside of your right leg, as low as you can reach, and draw yourself in towards that leg. Breathe here. Bring yourself back to the center, left hand down. Walk your hands all the way back. Now bending the right knee, right fingertips on the mat in front of you, or you can rest your hand on your leg or on a block. Take your left arm up towards the sky. If your neck is comfortable, look to your hand or look out to the side. And release you sit down. Same on the other side, bend your left knee, right leg straight, stretch your right arm up and come all the way back down. From here, bend your knees. Now we can stay higher up, resting your elbows lightly onto your thighs or you can come all the way down into your low squat. Your heels might come off. Please take care of your knees. Good. In this position, Let's give our wrists a break. So let's just bring the back of the hands together to give our wrists a little bit of a stretch here. And then let's come into prayer position, just bringing the palms together, pressing the knees out, lifting the chest a little bit more. Brilliant, good. From here, we walk our hands all the way forwards again. Step your feet close together and then bring your right knee back to the mat and then roll yourself all the way up into a side kneeling position. Good. From here, inhale, exhale, lean towards your straight leg without resting your hand on your leg but simply tucking the arm in front of you, the top arm stretches over. Then lift yourself up and how far can you go over without leaning onto that bottom hand? Just tuck it in in front of you. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. So we're stretching the waist but we're also working the waist, the obliques. Lift up and reach over. We've got one more. Inhale. Exhale, reach inhale this time you're going to lean all the way onto your bottom hand and bring your top hand all the way behind your head 
Good. Pushing your hips forwards with your head lean back. So you're in a beautiful straight line. Now from here, lift up your straight leg. Flex your foot. We're going to pulse the top leg. Let's do your best to get your leg up. We go up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend your top arm, reach it overhead. Inhale, bending your knee. Try and point your knee towards the sky. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, contract. And exhale, reach. And bring it in. And extend. Last one, bring it in and extend, reach, 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 bring your foot down, lift yourself all the way up, good. From here we have a lovely stretch, the arm over your straight leg, lower down in front of you, inhale, reach the other arm up high to the sky, stretch up, and then we thread the needle, bring the arm all the way under, reaching towards your straight leg, good. Feel free to reposition the other arm and just enjoy that big stretch here. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Slowly make your way all the way back up into your high kneeling position. Release your hands down and tuck your straight leg in. Sit down onto your heels, take a big stretch with your arms up in here. And exhale, bring your arms all the way down. Good. From here, we're going to rise up again into our high kneeling position. And now stretch out the other leg. Open your arms out nice and wide. Inhale. Exhale, side bend towards your straight leg. The bottom arm, we're tucking it in, we're not leaning onto it. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, stretch up and over, feeling that waist working. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach, 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 reach. Inhale, up. Exhale over. Inhale through the center. This time leaning onto your bottom hand. Make sure you're reaching it slightly away from you. Bring the top hand behind your head. Hips pushing forwards. Lift up the straight leg. Flex your foot. Ready? Keep breathing calmly. Pulse your leg. Up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Extend the top arm. Inhale, bring your knee in. Point your knee to the sky. Elbow knee together. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, contract. Exhale, reach. Inhale in. Exhale, reach. Inhale in. Exhale, reach. Last one. And out. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Can you lengthen even more? Lower your foot down. Bring yourself all the way up. Good. The arm over your straight leg. Place that right in front of you. Other arm, reach it up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Thread the needle. Reach with your fingertips to your straight leg, to your foot. See if your head can come all the way down. And then feel free to reposition your other arm. Any position that helps you with that beautiful twist. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale. Carefully, carefully. Make your way back out. Lift yourself all the way up. Inhaling. And exhale, release your hands down. From here, take a moment in child's pose. Sit back to your heels. Stretch your arms out forwards. Roll yourself slowly up. And then stretch your legs out in front of you. We'll continue with our abdominal work. Legs are bent right in line with your hips. Hold on to your legs, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, 
exhale, curling, we're going to look down to the belly and exaggerate that big C curve. So really curling, curling, curling. And then roll yourself up and go beyond that straight line into an extension, looking up. Take care of your neck, keep the back of the neck nice and long. Inhale through neutral. Exhale, curling back. Breathe in, start to come forwards. And continue, exhale, lift. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, curling back. Good. Now this time, lift the head and let's visualize the head is now back in line with the spine and not looking down anymore, so not too far forwards. Reach your arms in front of you. Feel the abdomen switched on. Inhale. Exhale, take one arm up, one arm down. And then we switch. Exhale. Small inhale, exhale, switch. Continue. You're holding onto that C curve. Your abdominals are firing whilst we're moving the arms. Incisor movements. Last one. Reach the arms forwards. Catch your legs. And roll yourself all the way back up again. Sit up nice and tall. Reach beyond that straight line into an extension. Inhale. Exhale, curl back again. So just as far as you feel, you can control it. You feel secure, your lower back feels comfortable, you feel the work in your tummy. Reach your arms forwards, good. Now imagine you are holding a small ball between your hands. So keeping the hands in this relationship, we're going to draw a figure of eight movement in front of our body. Your figure of eight is lying on a horizontal. We'll just continue to inhale and exhale. And we feel those abdominals working. One more. Good. Bring yourself back to the center. Again, catch your legs. Forwards we come. Sit up nice and tall. Lift, 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 lift. And gently look up. Inhale, exhale, curl back again, reach your arms forwards. Now again, maintaining this beautiful C curve, feeling the abdominals drawing back, flattening. From here, inhale, exhale, extend the right leg out. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, right leg steps in and left leg in. So literally just moving the legs out, straighten. Left in, right in. Let's go. Out, out, in, in. Make sure you're not holding your breath. You keep breathing. Slowly in and out. Last set. Out, out, in, in. Last one. Out, out, in, in. Catch your legs. Forwards you come. Roll yourself all the way up. Stretch your legs out, open them as wide as the mat. Take your arms up, inhale. And let's take a big stretch forwards, holding on to your feet, your ankles, your calves, maybe just to the back of the knees. Anywhere is good, just stretch it out. And then roll yourself slowly up. Now we've got a lovely stretching sequence here. So see if you can open the legs a little bit wider. And you might find it helpful to sit on a cushion. So if you have a cushion nearby, grab it, sit on it so you can sit up really tall. Keeping your toes and knees pointing up towards the sky. Arms are down beside your body. Sit nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, take your right arm up, stretch over towards your left side. Good, so we're going right to the side. Beautiful reach through that top hand. Now bring your right hand behind your head, or somewhere near your head. Inhale, try and press the right elbow up to the sky. Exhale, bring your right elbow towards your left leg. Fold towards your left leg. Inhale, open the right elbow back up to the sky again. Exhale, bending over your left leg, right elbow comes towards the ground. 
Inhale, one more time, elbow up. Exhale, rotate towards your left leg. Right elbow comes up. Stretch your right arm up towards the sky. Lift yourself all the way up. Open your arms out wide into a T-shape and then begin to turn your chest towards your right side. Bring your hands down. The left hand is in front of you. The other hand is behind you. Keeping your spine nice and tall, twisting towards your right. One more inhale here. Exhale, gently release face forwards. Keep your right hand just where it is, more or less. And then let's step your feet back in right on top of your mat. Your feet about hip distance, possibly slightly wider. From here, turn back towards your right. Plant your right hand flat into the ground, fingertips pointing back. And then to start to lift your hips up into the sky. Your left arm is reaching straight up to the sky as well. Hold yourself up here. Make sure your knees are pointing forwards in line with your toes. And slowly sit yourself all the way down. Extend your legs as wide as your mat. Before we do the second side, reach your arms forwards, inhale. Let's exhale, rolling yourself down. Open your arms out to the side. Rest the head down, inhale. Exhale, lifting the head, arms reaching forwards. Roll yourself all the way back up. Inhale. Exhale, rolling yourself down with control for moment symmetry in the body. Arms open out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, roll yourself up. One more to go. Inhale. Exhale, peeling down, easy, easy shoulders. Arms coming down, breathe in. And breathe out, roll yourself back up. Good, second side, legs out wide. Open your arms out wide, flex your feet, sit as tall as you can, inhale. Exhale, side bend to your right side. Reaching over. Inhale, bring your left hand behind your head. Exhale, left elbow towards your right leg. You're folding over your right leg. You inhale, take the left elbow up to the sky. You're back in your side bend. Exhale, folding over your right leg. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, folding towards the right leg. Inhale, left elbow up. Stretch your left hand up tall to the sky. Lift yourself up, arms into a T-shape. Breathe in. Breathe out, rotate your spine to the left. Bring your hands all the way down on the floor. And then use your fingertips on the floor to help your body to gently twist. Breathe. Good. And just gently release that twist. Know that we're going to go the same direction just very shortly. Step your feet back in onto the mat. Legs bend. Now look back. Left fingertips pointing to the wall behind you. Lifting your hips up whilst reaching your right arm up. You can look to your right fingertips. You can look to the side. You can look down anywhere where it helps you with your balance. Breathe. Slowly sit yourself all the way down. Good. Again, extend your legs out, arms forwards. Let's roll ourselves all the way down. And this time we'll stay here. Hug your knees into the chest. Draw your knees in. Give them a really good squeeze. And then we'll bring the hands around the back of the legs. Stretch your legs up. Point your toes and flex and point and flex. One more point and flex. Relax your feet. 
bend your knees, keep your knees close to you, but let your feet just hang down here. Now in this position, open your arms out wide to the side, palms up to the sky. Reach your fingertips away, feeling the chest nice and open, the neck is nice and long. Inhale, rock your knees to the right, just halfway. As you exhale, can you extend your legs away? Inhale, bring your knees back to the center. Exhale, feet come down. Inhale, knees to the left. Exhale, extend the legs. Inhale, knees up to the center. Exhale, bend your knees. One more time. Keeping the shoulder blades anchored. Inhale to the right. Exhale, reach the legs. Inhale, knees up. Exhale, feet down. Knees over to the left. And extend. Bring your knees up. Relax your feet down. From here, curl your head and chest forwards. Hold on to your sh shins and draw yourself up into your legs as best as you can. Good. Now keep drawing the belly down, anchoring the lower back down. We're going into double leg stretch. Inhale, stretch your legs away, arms reach back. Exhale, fold the knees in, arms come around, curl into a ball. Inhale, stretch your way. Exhale, all the way around. Inhale, reach. Exhale, around. Two more to go. Inhale, stay lifted. Take care not to arch your back. You can take your legs up higher if you need to, all the way in. Now bring your hands behind your head, lift your feet so that your shins are parallel to the ground. From here into crisscross, extend your left leg 45 degree, bring your chest towards your right knee. Come back to the center and then switch, and switch, Chris. cross. Chris, cross, Chris, cross, Chris, cross, one more, Chris, and relax. Release all the way down, relax your shoulders, rock a little bit side to side. Now this next exercise are the rollovers. If you have any neck issues, then you're going to do a variation of this, which will be to simply lift your feet up, knees bend, and just tiny little lifts of your hips. So just small lifts, so that there is no pressure, no strain on your neck, okay? If your neck is all good, you're gonna, you can try the rollover. So we're going to lift the legs up and over. Try and lift your legs up so they're not collapsing down. Flex your feet. And then very slowly, you can use your arms to help you as a break, roll yourself slowly down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Then you lower your legs forwards, just as far as you're in control, point the toes, lift the legs up, and lift them back and gently up. Abdomen's engaged, arms are strong. Good, keep your head nice and straight, no looking around here, flex your feet and slowly rolling down. Good, and we'll do one more. Lower the legs down, inhale. Exhale, lift up. Flex your feet. Take your time, roll slowly down. Bending your knees into the chest. Stretch your legs all the way away from you. Take your arms back. Give your body a nice big full body stretch, inhale. And now rolling slowly up to sitting. And we're going to take this into rolling like a ball. Now if you have any neck issues, then please you can abstain from this and just gently repeat your rolling back movements as we did earlier in the class. 
okay? But for anyone doing rolling like a ball, please take care you're not rolling onto your neck and your head. You're just rolling on the top of your shoulders. So bend your knees. Your knees are as wide as your shoulders. Ankles, heels together. Hold on towards your shins. Now curl and make yourself into that round shape like a ball. We're going to inhale. Exhale, focusing on the center. And then inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, find that balancing point. Let's go for one more. And up. Now you can stick with this or we can combine rolling like a ball with a rollover. So roll yourself back. Let your arms come down. Now the head is down. Lift your legs up and over. The same position we had earlier. Flex your feet. Roll yourself slowly down. And then you're going to catch momentum. Roll yourself up. Point the toes. And catch your rolling like a ball position. Inhale. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, lifting the legs. Reach up and back. And roll down. And catch your rolling like a ball position. Last time. And going back. Lift. Keep the head nice and straight the whole time. And roll up. Bend your knees. Good. From here, let's lift the legs up into a teaser position. You can hold on to your legs. You can maybe let go of your legs. Breathe. And then roll yourself very slowly down. And then we'll bend the knees, place the feet hip distance apart onto the mat, head resting down. Good. Now let's balance out all this work with some pelvic tits. Inhale. Exhale, curl the tail under, roll up your hips, your lower back, your middle back. Inhale, stretch your arms back, squeezing your glutes, feel those hamstrings. Exhale, roll slowly down and the arms catch up and come all the way down as well. Inhale, exhale, rolling up again, curling slowly up. Stretch your arms back behind you. Feel that beautiful length in the front of your body. Inhale. Exhale, roll slowly down. Arms coming down. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, rolling slowly up again. Reaching your arms back. Careful the knees don't open to the side. And slowly roll back down. Release your arms down. Good. Let's do a glute stretch. Cross your right ankle over your left leg. Push your right knee away. And then draw your left leg. You can hold onto your thigh, to your shin, wherever you can reach. Draw your left leg in towards you to give that right hip a good stretch. Careful not to let your shoulders move up too much. Keep them pulling down. And let's release. Let's do the same on the other side. Right foot down, cross your left ankle. And let's bring the right leg in, holding your thigh or your shin. Lift your right foot up, pretend it's pushing against the wall. So you're using that right leg to help stretch the left hip. Try and lean a little bit to the right and you might find you get a little bit more stretch. And then release. Good. From here, hug your knees in, hands under your thighs. Let's rock ourselves all the way up to sitting and we'll make our way round onto our hands and knees. And then come down onto your elbows. Elbows under your shoulders, clasp your hands. Now step your feet back and come into a forearm plank. You can do this with your knees straight or you can have your knees on the floor. Now we're going to exaggerate and think about that cat stretch we had right at the beginning. Can you round on your back, keep the tail still tucked down and look towards your feet. So really, really round in the upper back. And then start to lengthen. Everybody bring your knees down uncurl your toes and then slowly roll yourself down onto your belly and now the opposite can be lengthen and lift the chest and we're even going to look up a little bit and stretch the front of the throat. Inhale. 
and we exhale, we start to look down towards the hands. We peel the belly, the hips, the thighs. You can keep your knees down or tuck the toes under straight in your legs and go into this round shape where you're looking back towards your legs. And then slowly, like a wave, knees down, toes uncurl, unravel the body into that beautiful swings pose. Push the ground away to lift your chest, shoulders drawing back and down. Gently looking forwards, maybe slightly up. One more to go. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back into that plank. Rounding. Beautiful, strong center. And then lower your knees down. Uncurl the toes. With control. Lie yourself back down into your Sphinx pose. Lift up your chest. Look out forwards. And this time, allow yourself all the way down. Open your arms out wide into a T-shape. Turn your head towards your left. Rock your hips a little bit side to side. Now, here's a really nice stretch. You're going to lift your left leg, bend it, and reach with your left foot behind you, reaching towards your right hand. And then come back onto your belly. Do the same on the other side. Turn your head towards your right hand. Lift your right leg and reach your right leg as far as it's comfortable behind you. And then come slowly back down. One more on each side. Look to the left. Left leg comes up and rotate. And back onto your tummy, turn your head to the right, lift your right leg and just go where it feels good. Stretch it out and come all the way back down. Now bring your hands underneath your head and we'll put the left hand on top of the right hand. So we'll go to the left side first this time, inhale, exhale. Press the hands into the mat, shoulders gently drawing back, lift your chest and head. Now you can always stay here and lengthen the spine out forwards. Or we can add a rotation here in the extension. Take your left arm, circle it back, gently look back, stay here. Or maybe if your back is comfortable, lift yourself up and then come all the way back down. So we'll have options here, inhale, exhale, lengthen the tail to the heels, lift up. You can pause here, strengthen your back here. You can extend your left arm and reach back, keeping it low. Or you may push into your right hand to lift up higher and come all the way back down. Last time on this side, inhale, exhale, lifting, reaching your left arm. Staying low, reaching further, and bring yourself all the way down. Good. Rock your hips a little bit side to side. Switch your hands, second side. Inhale, exhale. Shoulders soften away from the ears, lifting up. Right arm is going to reach, come up higher or stay low, and come back. Rest all the way down. So always listen to your body and do what feels good and feels right for your body. Right arm, staying low, lifting up. And come all the way back down. Last one, inhale. Exhale, lift. Maybe pausing here. Or adding the arm movement, right arm and come all the way down. Again, rock your hips side to side. Now take your hands right next to the chest, pull the elbows back, lifting up, inhale. Exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, lifting, like a swan variation, and lower down. Push yourself all the way up onto your hands and knees. And any movement that helps release your back. So maybe a child's pose or you can repeat your cat stretch. Breathe. 
rock onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes under and let's stretch one last time out in our downward dog or up stretch position, lifting the hips up nice and high, stretching your legs and then from here walk your feet a few steps forwards, bend your knees as needed, walk your hands back and then very slowly in your own time Roll yourself up to standing, all the way up to standing. Take a big stretch with your arms up, inhale. Exhale, draw your palms to your heart. Close your eyes for a moment, just sensing your body. Notice how you're doing. And then relax your hands all the way down open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Have a great day and hope to see you soon.